coming back to you with another foundation review. This time it's going to be the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Let me tell you the story about how I found out about this foundation. I went into Sephora right after New Year's and I seen this gorgeous East African uh, makeup artist in there and her skin, let me tell you, I'm not a thief, but if I could steal skin, I would have stole her skin and ran out of Sephora with it. Her skin was gorgeous. Now I think she naturally has beautiful skin, but I had to go to her and I ask her, what kind of foundation are you wearing? Because whatever she had on, I needed to get it. So she told me, oh, it's the um, NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. It hasn't launched yet, coming out in two weeks. And I bought mine. So I went with Mikhail. It comes in a box with a lot of wrapping. It's a glass bottle. It's, let me see. It's 30, 30 milliliters. Um, comes with a pump which is a plus and what they say about this color is that it's a medium dark with yellow undertones so you know I did the chest test so I'm gonna do it again I'm gonna use my beauty blender to apply it I'm gonna put a little bit and just put it on my chest to see if it blends because I want my face to match my chest and it does you can't even see where I put it on if you go on the NARS website, there's a how to use section. So it says dispense one pump or pearl sized amount of natural radiant long wear foundation and warm with fingertips. Too much formula accentuates lines and imperfections. Avoid excess application around eyes or contour of the face. Apply foundation starting at the center of the face and blend out with fingertips. Focus on one area at a time and blend well. Well, I'm not gonna use my fingers, I'm gonna use my beauty blender. Sorry, Nars, we're gonna break the instruction rules right there. And I guess I'm gonna start applying on the bridge of my nose and spread it out on my cheeks. By the way, I just did my eyebrows and I put on some color corrector under my eyes. As you can see, I still have this discoloration problem. I did not put on any milk of magnesia. I did use my primer, which I which is the Sheer Envy Primer Shine Free um, by Hard Candy. So it's a mattifying primer and my moisturizer. I didn't put on any um, Milk and Magnesia, only because I wanted to see how oily my skin would get with this foundation. how to apply instructions and I'm just gonna pack it on how I like well um my face does match my chest so the color is pretty good so I got it at Sephora um, it, let me see how much I paid for it I have the receipt right here it was $60 Canadian and it came up to $67.80 plus tax Canadian so I think it's probably like 40 50 something us i'm not sure um it is kind of pricey it does say i was supposed to shake it before i use it which i forgot to do that it says right at the back shake well bien agité for the french people that it's a 16 hour fade resistant wear um 
It's medium to full, billable coverage, transfer resistant, sweat resistant, resist oxidization, so color stays true all day. So I am gonna wear it for a couple hours and see if this color stays true all day. And maybe in a couple minutes, I'm gonna try to rub a little bit off on my shirt to see if it's actually transfer resistant. We'll see. Uh, sweat resistant, I don't plan on sweating today, so I won't be able to give you feedback on that, but hopefully it is. And it stays fresh and vibrant as if it's just applied. It also says skin optimizing complex, a blend of raspberry, apple, and watermelon extracts. Let me smell this. Too. Smells like foundation. It feels pretty lightweight. Is it cakey? No. Is it heavy? No. Is it drying or masking? Definitely not. I would say it matches pretty well. She did a good job with that. And 33 skin matching shades to fill all skin tones and undertones. Well, I will only one, so it matches mine. Um, maybe I could use vellum in the summer because this might be too light once I get a tan, but we'll see because right now we're in the dead of winter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish my face and, and then I'm gonna come back with my full face and I'll let you guys see how that looks. complexion um, I like how it feels it doesn't feel too heavy on my skin I've had it on now for about an hour and a half and I'm not getting oily yet it's holding up no creasing under my eyes my eyelids no creasing that's a good sign around my mouth a mm, little bit of creasing the only thing is that, well, I can't blame it on the foundation. Like I did say, I do have skin discoloration and I can still kind of see my light spots. I probably should have color corrected that before I put on the foundation. I only did it under my eyes, but I did not do it over here because I wanted to see if it was enough coverage to cover it. Either I should have built, it, built on it more or I should have color corrected it with a color correcting concealer, but that's my fault. So I'm not gonna blame that on the foundation. Um, I do find that in person, it looks way better than on camera. Like, it just gives me this nice, rich, beautiful brown complexion. It probably does look good on camera, but it looks way better in person. Overall, I do think that this is a very, very nice foundation. Um, it is kind of pricey. I would say it's worth it if you love and you don't mind high-end foundation prices. Not love them, but love high-end foundations and don't mind their prices. Um, it did mention to apply it with my fingers and warm it up with my fingers. So, and maybe had I applied it with my fingers, I would have gotten a better finish, but I used the beauty blender because I just didn't feel like getting my hands dirty. But with the beauty blender, it still works well. With your fingers, it probably still works well as well. So you would just like put a pump on, dab it, and then just use this finger next to your pinky finger because that is your lightest finger. And you can just like rub it into your skin and it probably works well that way too. When I patted my face, it did kind of transfer onto my clothing. That was after about 20 minutes. I don't know if I have to keep it on longer just for it to 
like not transfer but i just wanted to test that this i would say the mateo mateo however you pronounce it would be considered my winter color um in the summertime i'd probably go up to a vellum just because i'm gonna get darker and this foundation probably won't match me in the summer but that's usually how it is so i hope this video was helpful to all of you guys um this is another foundation that is woman of color friendly so that is a plus like i said hope this review helps you guys you know on selection for foundation um i do have oily skin and for those who have oily skin i would say this is a good thing you're, you're, you're safe with this one so i hope you guys like share if you have any comments leave them in the comment uh box below i will leave everything that i remember that i used in the description bar below don't forget to subscribe don't forget to watch my past videos i have a couple of recent ones and don't forget to watch my future videos stay tuned because i do have some more reviews for you guys and until next time Peace and thank you guys so much.